I am representing Krishna Consciousness, which is known as all over the world as International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Myself is Sachi Putra Das. So today I am giving on this topic. Should we beg our daily bread from the God? So actually, in this material world, wherever you go, you find people. They are not so intelligent. They ask from the God so many things. They are asking for their daily bread also. So they are, because they, why they are asking? They are asking due to their lack of knowledge. So if you go to a big person and ask him your bare needs, it is not so intelligent. If that person knows your necessity, then there is no difficulty to supply you. So God resides in our heart as supposed is Anumanta Upadrashta. He is the sanctioner and supplier. He supplies our every needs. From a, our Bhagavad Gita, we understand that. Generally, the basic need is food grains. So the food grain it depends on the good rainfall and the rainfall depends on good activities means the sacrifices if the peoples will do sacrifice yajna for the supreme personality of godhead then the bare needs will be filled filled very easily there is no difficulty. So for the devotees, they understand it. Because their consciousness is now in a higher platform. So the ground level consciousness is food consciousness. We see those are food consciousness. They are always hankering after where is food, where is food, how can I get food. From morning to evening they are just searching, they are going for, to different places. Mono rathena dhavata ohi. They are just by their mind's wheel, it goes here and there. But. Higher than that food consciousness is that person who lives on them. People are living, they do not know why they are living. They do not have any idea. They are not living for the higher purpose. And the third category people are that those who are believe, believing that their mind is everything. They hear their mind. Yes, mind says, I want this, I have to get it. Otherwise, I will not be satisfied. So they are crazy people. But at least the persons who understand that, yes, mind is saying it. It is good, but it is not sufficient. The mind consciousness higher than there is 
the developed consciousness in the developed consciousness one can understand why should i go here and there just to just to fulfill my bare necessities i can get it from the nature and that person who is fully dependent on krishna the supreme personality god head he understand that yes krishna supplies everything he promises us a supply to every living entity what to speak of human beings not only human beings beast plants creepers insects they are also getting their food a elephant never goes to any university never goes to any factories but he gets tons of his food grains from the jungle but and we see also practically the other living entity also get their food so for human beings those who have proper knowledge they should be engaged don't see for a to think of the krishna the supreme person in this way if they will continue engaging themselves in this devotional service lord says that yes whatever they have lord carries and whatever they lack and lord preserve what they have so lord actually protects us but who don't have any faith sometimes we see the people who goes to mostly they goes to they go to the temples chants mosques just to ask god please give us our daily bread if somehow or other they do not get that they become atheistic they become atheist and they lost their faith so the concept of religion is dharma according to oxford dictionary is kind of faith but the faith can be changed but the sanskrit word dharma means which sustains us which protects us which holds us from our natural tendency to love god so although god supplies everything but they do not have that faith that so is ask that please give us our deliberate please give us our deliberate so do you think that the supplying deliberate will fulfill our all desires no we have thousands and thousands desires innumerable desires uncountable desires samudra apa pravishanti sarve likewise the rivers incessantly enters in the ocean but the ocean is always calm and quiet it is steady never disturbed so same way if a person is steady mind controlled mind he will be never build for his desires so kankita karmana sidha we work for 
from morning to evening 24 hours engaged just to fill our belly it is not a good idea a modern scientist agriculturalist they are innovating so many ways how to develop the food how to gain more and more food grains how to supply food grains to the hungry people to the people who do not have any food unfortunately by getting so many means still people are dying in hungry when we ask to the developed countries those who have sufficient food grains in their stock they says that no we can't give you they are throwing the food grains to the ocean when it is washed but see if they will supply this food grains when people needs it then the problem will be solved people not people will not cry for the food grain for their daily bread but this due to this imbalance of food distribution people are going here and there sometimes they are asking to the leaders the present leaders they have that propaganda please put faith on us if we put your faith on upon us then we will supply you the food grains but you see the leader of certain do not help them they gave so much promise so many things assurance please be assured on us we will help you but they never help who will help this then no other than god god only sees the proper distribution likewise the sun collected the rain the water in the summer season on this earth and when the rainy season comes it pours the rains everywhere it pours the rain on the sea rivers hill side and the paddy fields where the cultivation is going on so in this way well, the rain distributed everything all the rains is distributed everywhere proportionately not that some part is overflowed and some parts is not but our capacity how to utilize that if we we'll utilize it properly then our problem will be solved if we we'll not properly utilize it then you will be in problem so by so many evidence in our surroundings we see it that due to insufficient knowledge although we should not think that people are not educated nowadays people are more educated people have good academic qualification from the big big universities they have big big decorative certificates but this certificates do not help them. this is not knowledge 
this knowledge is only how to gratify the senses how to gain profit how to get money 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 sweeter than honey brighter than sunshine the thing like that yes this money it will help us by money we can serve it but no the factories never produce any food grains only the factory it just processing the food grains and how to preserve it long term that can do but it cannot produce any food grains have you seen any factories produce any food grains any sane person will say no only the city children they will say yes from factories food grains comes food grains comes from the fields when there is proper rain proper supply of air is water is there and the field is fertile then the crops will be good god supplies such abundance of food grains that what to speak of the present populations these populations will be fed by this food grains 10 times not that once so people will be educated on the science Our propors, propors and let me distributing the food grains. If the peoples and cultured, noble, honest, good behavior, then they will see that the other peoples are not in hungry. They will help each other. so only krishna consciousness helps all over the world to, to people understand it that how people are suffering due to lack of knowledge so we can gain this knowledge by hearing from the proper source authoritative source the proper source is then we will find these types of knowledge from the our vedic literature our vedic literatures keep us immense knowledge how to understand that god supplies every necessity to every people so in conclusion the people should be educated and at least they are coming to the temple they are going to the supreme lord god that please keep us our daily bread this is one karma one desire of them yes it is good but it is not ultimate good the ultimate knowledge is that god supplies everything isa vasyam idam sarvam he gave it what is the percentage you will get you will get it don't cry for this this will help them that yes we should not go for this at least we should ask to god to please engage us in your devotional service yes 
it is our suggestion it is our pray and request to all of you to share this lecture at least go to temple church mask pray god please engage us in your service thank you very much hari krishna